Hello, we are SBML, Systems Biology and Medicine Laboratory. Usually, when people hear the name of our laboratory, they see the words biology and medicine and imagine a laboratory that looks like this. A lab with beakers and micropipettes lined up, with people in white coats looking at the centrifuge machine. Of course, among the laboratories dealing with systems biology, there are many laboratories like this, but our lab is a bit different. This is how our lab looks like. No beakers, no micropipettes, no centrifuges. There are two monitors on each of our white desks that face each other, with people on their computers tapping away at their keyboards. For us, the monitor is the beaker that holds the biological network, the keyboard is the micropipette that makes the accurate measurements, and the server computer is the centrifuge that makes the analysis. These two styles of biotechnology labs are complementary. The data produced in the wet lab becomes the source of computational research, and the model created in the dry lab helps to reduce the time and cost of the experiment. The way we approach the problem in our lab is in the form of the latter. In our lab, computational approaches are used to challenge a variety of biotechnological problems. So how does one do biological research with a computer? In the era of big data, the volume of biological databases expand day by day. There are countless types of data, including sequence data, network data, and gene expression data. Our primary job is to generate meaningful biological insights from these types of data. We utilize multi-omics data, public data, and more to create a model that helps drug discovery and development. In order to formulate these models, we base our techniques on machine learning and genome scale metabolic modeling techniques. Our main programming language is Python. It amazes us to see how these few lines of code that may seem dreary at first glance deliver models that represent life events, predict the action of drugs, and discover biomarkers important for disease. From now on, I will introduce three main research topics in our lab. The first topic is the improvement of microbial production using a genome scale metabolic model. Microbial production is environmentally friendly, suitable for modular production, and can produce higher yields than typical chemical productions. The Genome Scale Metabolic Model, GEM, is a model that includes information about the organism's genes, proteins, metabolites, and metabolic reactions. Manipulation of this GEM model can predict the amount of microbial production without actually experimenting, which allows for cheaper and faster metabolic engineering. Our lab's second topic is the prediction of biological activities of compounds using machine learning. Although machine learning was developed around image and translation technology, once chemical structural information is processed into a form that the machine learning can understand, it's possible to predict various biological activities. Typical examples of predictions include which proteins a given chemical structure will interact with, drug toxicity, and drug interactions. The third topic is cancer research using GEM reconstruction. Using the transcriptome or proteome data of cancer cells, it is possible to make cancer cell-specific GEMs from generic GEMs. If we analyze this well, we can know important metabolic pathways and proteins in cancer, which can direct us to the development of effective anti-cancer drugs. We are currently working with many partners for this type of research. In particular, we are conducting a lot of joint research with hospitals. In our lab, we have great professors and wonderful members who excel in this research. For more information, please visit sbml.keist.ac.kr.